The global economic situation at the moment and the political situation in the world bring a lot of pressure on the mining industry and the demand is increasing, especially because of the price of the gold, as well as the demand for critical minerals like lithium, nickel and cobalt. And now we are in the beginning of a new cycle in exploration in order to supply the demand. Quebec have been always a big player in gold mining, but in the recent years in critical minerals, especially lithium and nickel, Quebec is standing out of the lot because we have a government in place that is putting a lot of effort in order to increase the offer that Quebec can deliver in terms of resources in critical minerals. We are today for the interview at Foreign Mining at uh, Project McIlvena Bay. And as you can see, there is a thousand of meter of core. There is a lot of sample to analyze. The big problematic is to send all those samples to laboratory to get results. So as many people know, the expression time is money. The moment you send the sample to the laboratory, you only get the result many weeks later. It's not very efficient. So that's why you can find some core scanner technology, bring to the mine site and do in a more efficient way to scan and get results as fast as possible. Lutfi and I decided to start a mission in 2014. At that time, we decided that we want to build the most uh, performant and accurate instrument on the market to produce a result for the mining industry. As soon as 2015, we launched our first spectral imager that was already standing out in terms of speed of acquisition. And 2016, we made a milestone with the first uh, kilohertz spectral imager. These are the foundation of our technology. After that, we uh, pursued the uh, research and development in order to uh, bring this technology into the e -core, which have been launched in 2021. Every year since our foundation, if it's not a new uh, sensor, we bring new uh, software possibility in order to the customer to get new result and deliver accurate and precise, which I will say high fidelity result. So the LIPS technique or the way of doing LIPS assays are different in the fact that the core never really leaves site. It uh, can go directly from the drill to the actual LIBS unit or the E-Core unit. And uh, in the E-Core unit, a laser will uh, scan the core and it'll generate a plasma on the surface of the core. And you read this plasma uh, with a spectrometer. And when you've done that, the core just goes back in the yard. There's no splitting of core. There's no shipping of samples. LIBS have been around for a long time. The components that make up a LIBS system have been around for a long time. The new thing about this is that they've skipped what I would call like a couple of steps of the development ladder and have brought the speed up to a place where that was unthinkable just five years ago. They have paired that with an incredibly well-developed software. So it's the synergy of, of, of the parts and the knowledge they've managed to build around this technology that makes it so different. And like I say, for me, it's a matter of, of when the market actually notices this and actually latches on that there's something unique here. We have a very positive response from any customer that try our technology. You already have uh, some other technology, but we are coming with a new one that is, uh, to be honest, is the, the best one, I think. And all the people that try our technology, they are amazed about the result. Even if you combine hyperspectral and uh, photography and XRF, combine all together, you cannot extract the information that we can provide by the eCore. With the use of the e-core, we can increase the production yield of 6%. What it means is that the commodity that you are extracting, let's say it's gold, you extract 6% more gold from uh, every ton of material you put into the mills. So Ecor and Libs is definitely the way to go in order to characterize accurately with high fidelity the, the drill core to access the mineralogy and the chemistry of the rock. When we launched the, the eCore, we understand quickly that we have to put the eCore in a mobile laboratory type to bring the eCore close to the mine site. This was a, a great success for us. The system actually gives a lot of results, first of all. So it's a laboratory system that we bring in uh, on mine site, and it's the only one that can deliver the automated mineralogy 
in a very robust way because this core scanner is the only one that we can compare to very high level system in a laboratory. You have chemical assay, you have density, hardness, RQD. You can process your result in real time inside the container in instead of sending your results in a cloud and wait like one week or two weeks to get back your results. You can do everything on site. Innovation is very important for a company like Elemission and it, it's at the core of our DNA. We are innovator and we will be uh, the leader uh, for years to go. Each day we are, uh, our team is eager to develop new things, deliver new results, answer new uh, needs from our customer. Uh, like the geologist, the geomet, or even the remediation engineer that talk with us. So innovation is very important uh, for us in order to bring high fidelity data for our value customer.